So, so far we've mainly been emphasising fractions as thinking about the part in a whole and finding fractions of shapes. But fractions have got another use as well, which is as counting numbers. So like I could count up in numbers, one, two, three, four, five, and then you might learn to count up in fives, five, 10, 15, 20. I can count up in fractions as well. So half, one, one and a half, two, or in quarters and so on. Um, and that's based on being able to position fractions on a number line. We're gonna focus on that skill um, and I'm gonna show some very personal memories, uh, very special memories as well. Um, so it's gonna be really important for really having a deep understanding of fractions in all their different forms. So let's have a look at one of yesterday's questions. It said, for each pair of shapes, what is the same and what is different? So have a look at those ones. What's the same and what's different for each pair? Um, remind yourself what you said, or you might want to have a go if you didn't come to this yesterday. Uh, pause the video. Okay, let's have a little look. Well, uh, the example on the top left, the blue parts there, we've got a quarter and another quarter there, so we've got a half in total. And um, there's the same amount that's blue than is white. And on here, there's also the same amount of blue as is white. Um, a, can you see we've got this one and this one and they are identical, but this time we have this quarter here and this quarter here. So different shape, but the same fraction. Now here, we've got the same part that's yellow. This part and this part are the same. It's just that the, the thing that's different here is the whole is, is bigger. So actually that means that this fraction um, yellow is, is, uh, is larger on this shape because the part is smaller. Uh, whereas this time the fraction that's yellow is smaller because the whole is larger. Um, and on the bottom example, what's the same and what's different? Well, again, um, this time I've got the same size parts. I've also actually got the same size whole. It's just that the part is in a different place. Um, but it's easy to see with the, or easy to see with the purple one on the left that it's a half, but it's also this is a half of this um, rectangle that is purple here as well. I also wanted to have a look at another task from yesterday. So one of the tasks you were asked to split shapes into a half, which ones are half blue, a third blue, and a quarter blue. And these ones are all a half. But how can we tell the half? Have a look at the lines that I've drawn on that help me to see that each one is half blue. So there, I've split this shape into equal uh, triangles now, and I can see that I've got two that are blue and two that are white. E equal rectangles, that I can see two are white and two are blue. And here, I've got equal triangles, and I've got four that are white and four that are blue. Um, these two shapes are a third. How can I tell? Um, well, have a look at how I've added another line on there, on this shape here, so I can see that that is a, a, a part, and how many parts of this size do I have? Three. And can you see how this space is the same as these two spaces combined? If I kind of move one of these, um, up, so, so let's say I could move this one down, and I could see that that would then be one of three longer rectangles if I put them together. I could call that two-sixths, or I could call it one-third. And all of these are actually a quarter. But again, quite challenging to see that they are a quarter. A little bit easier if I put these lines on. So I can now see that this part, well, four of that part fits in the hole, just like this example here. Um, and again, I've got two out of eight, eight triangles here. If I moved, for example, this triangle and filled in this part here, you could see it would actually be the same as this one here. Now, what about this top right one? How on earth would I know that that one's a quarter? Well, if we know that those two are the same size parts and they're in the same size hole, the same size square, then it must also be a quarter. So it's really important to be able to recognize fractions um, by seeing fractions of a shape, but it's also really important to see fractions on a number line and represent them like that. Um, because a lot of situations where we use fractions, actually the thinking behind them would be, where would those fractions go on a number line? So we're gonna have a look at lining up these fractions. Uh, so line up fractions on our number line we're gonna become experts in that. I don't think I've ever put a video together with so many different pictures and visual representations. We're gonna build in small steps. I hope you're gonna find it really, really helpful. Um, so here I've put together a number line and my number line starts at zero and then I have one and then I have two. Um, now it might be for some situations I want to have be a bit more precise in my measurement than that. So I might include, for example, halves um, so I'd go zero, a half, one, one and a half, two. Um, and then I might also include uh, quarters. So I could count up in quarters by going a quarter and two quarters or a half, three quarters, one, 
one and a quarter, one and a half, one and three quarters, two, two and a quarter, and so on. Now, when might I need a number line like that? We said before about ages of children. Well, how about this? Um, my daughter were, looked like this when she had just been born. That was her there. Wow, she could hardly move, just about open her eyes. Uh, then when she was a quarter of a year old, uh, she'd grown a little bit, still sleeping quite a lot, and looked like this. And then when she got to half a year old, wow, the change. And suddenly she was kind of sitting up a little bit. Uh, three quarters of a year. Well, then we were able to crawl like this. Can you see those two teeth coming through? And then at one, wow, standing up and everything. Still not very much hair, mind. One and a quarter, another three months passed. And oh, this cheeky face coming up through the basket. We get to one and a half. Um, can you see we're getting a little bit older still. Asking questions, starting to talk. One and three quarters. Wow, look, dressing up, having lots of fun. And by our second birthday, look at all that hair we're growing now, enjoying the outdoors. Two and a quarter? Well, it's getting colder now, we're getting towards Christmas, so we've got all our woolies on. But can you see how a number line represents this development in a child's age, and we can see that, that developing gradually? A context where a number line would be used for fractions. So let's have a think about how we break down and position fractions on a number line. I'm going to do it with these three number lines with some different fractions. And we're going to focus on this space between 0 and 1. Um, now, if I was trying to split that space up into half, I would need to split it into two equal pieces. A little bit like finding a fraction of a shape there. Can you see that? It's almost like that whole rectangle has been split into two equal halves. Um, so where would a half go on our number line from 0 to 1? Well, it'll go exactly in the middle. Um, now, what about if I was splitting our number line up into thirds, into three pieces? Um, so how can I mark that on the number line? Well, I'll have one third is here, and then another third, so two thirds, would be, would be here. Can you see that each third is less than each half? Because a half, I'm only splitting this line up into two pieces. A third, I'm splitting the line into three pieces. Well, what about quarters? There, I've split that space into quarters. So I'll have one quarter, two quarters, which is the same as a half there. Can you see how that's the same space as a half, these two quarters? Three quarters and one. Um, and so that's where all those fractions will be positioned on those number lines. Can you see a half is more than a third and a third is more than a quarter? OK, so I've got a question for you based on that. Correct or not correct for these three examples. Uh, pause the video, have a look, see what you think. Okay, let's have a look. Um, well, the first example, this is not correct. You might think, oh look, the two is the smallest number, that goes first, then the four, and then and then three quarters. But that's not true, because actually the, the half should be halfway here. And actually a quarter, like we saw in the last picture, is, is less than a half. So actually they're in the wrong position. We should swap around the half and the quarter. Um, now here, the fractions are in the right order because it does go a quarter and then a third and then a half. But this one's incorrect because again, can you see that half is not in the middle? It's not halfway. So actually all the fractions should be further to the left. And, and this is actually where a half is because a half is right in the middle. Whereas this one's correct here. Can you see we've got a half in the middle and then a quarter is one, two, three, four, it's one quarter of the way along, and that is three quarters of the right way along. So the bottom one is correct. Now let's have a look at another ways that number lines can be broken up. And um, we'll start with a more straightforward one, zero to four. If I split that into four equal pieces, then I have steps of one, one, two, three, four. And of course my number line looks like this. Well, what about if I split zero to two up into four equal pieces? Uh, this time, I'd be going up in steps of a half, and I would have a half, and then one, and then one and a half, and then two. And if I'm splitting up my zero to one in four pieces, well, of course, just like before, we'll split them into quarters, and it would go a quarter, two quarters, three quarters, and one. So let's have a look at those different number lines. We go one, two, three, four. A half is halfway between one, and halfway between one and two is one and a half. Um, and then we've got this number line going up in quarters. 
Okay, so how about this question, or, or these questions, I should say, here? Which answer is correct? Now, notice the last one isn't a 0 to 1, but it's a 0 to 2 uh, number line. Pause the video and have a go at this one. Okay, let's have a look. I could see why children think that this one is a third, because they could go one, two, three. But actually, that's not what a third means. A third means splitting up this, this distance into three equal parts. Here, it's split into one, two, three, four parts, and we are one, two, three of those parts the way along. So three quarters here is correct. Now this one, a quarter or a half, well, it's actually a quarter. Um, because I'm one, even though there's two sections here, they're not equal sections. And so it's one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, four quarters. So this one is a quarter. Now here, again, you might think, well, it's four pieces. So this must be a quarter. But of course, halfway between zero and two is one. One is here. So this is zero to one. And so this one actually is a half. Okay, so let's have a look at this one here. So write the number or fraction at each arrow. Pause the video and have a go at this one. Okay, and when you're ready, let's have a look. So this first one, we've got these three boxes, but we've got one, two, three, four steps. So we go a quarter and a half or two quarters, and then three quarters and one. And the next one, we have a half and one, and one and a half and two. So we're splitting this this gap from zero to two into four equal pieces. And what about this last one? Well, this is a half. And what is a half of a half? It's actually a quarter. And if this is a half, then another half gets me to one. But then I've got to think, well, how big is this space here? So this is a space of one. This is a space of a quarter. This is a space of a half. How big is that space? Well, it's actually another a half. So we get from one to one and a half. Now, let's have a look at the position of one on each number line. Now, if you think you know where one is, just see if you can point towards the screen. Where do you think we will find one? And then what do you think we might notice on this example here? So pause the video and have a little go at this one. OK, and let's have a look. Well, half, it'll be another equal half space along. So one would be about there. Whereas a quarter, if that's where a quarter is in this number line, then I'd need to go two quarters, three quarters. So I think four quarters or one would be about here. And what about a fifth? So this time I'd need to have five jumps of that size. And so my one on that number line would be around about there. Now, what do we notice? Well, when the fraction is a half, that, that is one of the two pieces. The position of one is further to the left. And if that's a fifth, I've got five more jumps to get to one. Um, so as the denominator gets larger, one goes further to the right on, uh, on my number line. So for today's task, click on the blue link underneath the video. Um, and it is a task A and a task B. So uh, part A, task A, it's filling in uh, which fractions go in those boxes. And then position one on this number line here. Um, so for task B, we have that same first question, and then we're positioning half and a quarter on these number lines here. Um, the answers are at the bottom as normal. Um, I think today's been really, really valuable. It'll be really helpful for you. We're going to build on that to order and compare fractions tomorrow. I will see you back for then.